we have a really interesting pair of mahogany um, library chairs. These chairs are solid mahogany and they have a cane back and they have a cane seat. When you see this turn reeded leg, one cabinet maker comes to mind and to me that name is Gillows of Lancaster. To me, the reason why I believe these are made by this leading firm, Gillows of Lancaster, are little pieces of detail which as follows. From the top section, coming down on this concave part here, we have this very fine reeded uh, moulding. This is echoed in the concave back, and you can see this lovely hand-carved moulding here. And this little detail with these lovely little pips across the centre section there. The quality of the timber is Cuban mahogany. Really, really good quality, dense Cuban mahogany. So when it's carved, the detail is really, really sharp. And as I say, I'm just going to remove this little squab cushion again. And you can see the caning, lovely original caning. And there's no damage whatsoever. And then when we look at the front leg, we see a nice slim tapered leg with the applied reeded mouldings. Again, what makes these chairs really interesting to me is when we look at the backs. When we look at the backs of both of these chairs and you can see these extra supports. These are again beautif beautifully um, hand turned. They are original to the piece. And the reason why they're there is when we have this concave back and you're sitting there and you're applying pressure, it just gives the whole chair more stability. And again, on the back legs, on the back sabre legs, you can see this incised reading and it's followed round on the chair itself. These chairs date around 1800, 1815. They're not stamped by Gillows, but they are saying so many things that they are by this leading cabinet maker. Very elegant. I would imagine in the gentleman's club, there would have been an array of these you know, chairs, 10 or 15 of them all scattered around the library. The other thing is they're extremely comfortable.